Hello and welcome to one of my final president's messages of the year. I can hardly believe it. So we're in December now. And if you're like me, I am gear gearing up for some lazy days <laughs> at the end of the year, just time to reflect and um, recharge for 2024. Um, and we're really excited today to talk about recognition and how NAPO is committing to bringing forward and celebrating our best and brightest members. So I, as my guest today, I have um, invited Amelia Pleasant Kennedy. She is our chair of the Awards and Recognition Committee for NAPO. So Amelia, welcome to the President's Message. It's great to have you. Thank you so much. It's, I mean, it's a <laughs> pleasure to talk about awards and recognition during this last month of the year where we're doing all the celebrating. Yeah, and it's time to it's a great time to really think back over the year and think about what we've all accomplished in our businesses and in our association work. So tell us, first of all, a little bit about yourself. Um, how long have you been involved with NAPO and your journey with the Awards and Recognition Committee? So I'm proud to say that I'm celebrating five years as a NAPO member as of this month. So ah, Golden Circle, in. congratulations. <laughs> I know, it's, it's like this milestone that's been out there for a little while. So I actually joined NAPO in 2018, a full year before I started my business. Mm -hmm. And I utilized the on-demand education. I earned some specialist certificates because I really wanted that full background of education, best business practices etc. So from there, I joined the Michigan chapter and right away jumped into volunteering. I was the vice president and then the president of the Michigan chapter for two years. And I joined awards and recognition um, in December of 2021 as a committee member and became chair uh, in May of 2022. Fantastic. So what does the, for those of us who don't know, what does the Awards and Recognition Committee do and what types of awards are there in NAPO? Yes. So our goal is to ensure that NAPO members and corporate members, our partners are publicly recognized at the national level for their outstanding contributions made to both NAPO and the organizing and productivity industry as a whole. Mm -hmm. We have a few awards. The primary one that I'll speak to today is the Founders Award. And then we have a subcommittee that administers the scholarship awards for mm -hmm. summit attendance. And then we coordinate with you, Mindy, to highlight the President's Award and Service to NAPO Awards as well. That's right. Who's it going to be this year? <laughs> I know. I'm and then there's power. <laughs> yes. Yes. And there's this whole um, recognition side as well. So there's awards. And then in terms of recognition, we are celebrating a year as um, of doing the chapter and volunteer spotlights that mm -hmm. members might have seen on point. And then there's the in memoriam quarterly post that we've just recently launched to honor deceased NAPO members as well. Such important work that you're doing. And I think it's worth mentioning again that this committee is um, really valuable for NAPO because you don't just look internally, you really are thinking about the entire ecosystem of organizing and who is out there making an impact and really raising the bar for all of us who are in the organizing and productivity profession. So tell me, I know you're here to talk about Founders Award. So tell me more about the Founders Award and why this particular one is so important for our industry. Yes, I, I love talking about the Founders Award. Its purpose is to shine a light on a member or group of members, can be a team, for their outstanding innovation, inspiration, and creativity, both within NAPO and definitely outside in the larger field of professional organizing and productivity. And it's an acknowledgement of individuals who've made a significant impact on that wider industry. 
And it's important because it brings the spirit of the NAPO's original founders forwards to today. And it encourages us to celebrate the top innovators within NAPO. And being nominated, of course, is an honor all of its own. Oh my goodness, so true. Um, and so what are the changes that are happening with this award this year? Because I know your committee has been working very hard and having a lot of important conversations about kind of refreshing the brand of the Founders Award and the protocols for nominations. Yeah, thanks so much for asking. We've updated the award with several new features. And the first is we would love for folks to self-nominate as well. Because not every member is connected to a chapter or has a large network of colleagues within NAPO, and we've identified that as a potential barrier to application. So we want you to nominate yourself as well. So you know if you've been a professional member for at least three years, you know if you've adhered to the code of ethics and run your business using best practices. You know if you've been innovative, creative, inspirational in the larger field. And we want you to tell us how you've advanced the profession outside of NAPO as well. So that's one area that we've made some changes. And the second is that we've decreased the number of character references requested from three to two. And the reason that we're doing that is because we want to encourage folks to seek a reference from another NAPO member and one character reference from a supporting professional outside of NAPO. So that's gonna be the voice that's really going to boost um, the accomplishments that you've done in the larger industry as well. And Fantastic. the last one I'll bring attention to. Oh. Yeah, one more. Keep going. <laughs> um, yeah, we've relaxed the requirement to attend Summit as a precursor to winning the award. We encourage, we highly encourage nominees to attend Summit. However, we recognize that life and business are always shifting. And those factors, of course, do not diminish your overall achievements. So know that that's not a barrier any longer. Fantastic, so smart. So your committee's been hard at work. <laughs> so tell me, um, or tell us, who would be um, someone ideal to nominate for this award? And then how do we go about nominating someone? Yeah, I would invite everyone to check out the previous award winners, and, and that's on the main page at napo.net. You can select awards, and each of the prior winners has been listed there. And I want to share that I believe ideal is in the eye of the beholder, right? So when we um, expand to self-nominations, the key words that we want to highlight and draw attention to are admired and respected for their professionalism and achievements outside of NAPO, as well as being a proud member of our organization. So anyone, really, you could be a superstar working with the aging or youth, um, an expert in releasing clients from the grips of perfectionism, innovating closet solutions, new products, creating apps, tech solutions, all of that counts. So if you are that someone or know someone who's thinking big, that person mm -hmm. is an ideal candidate. Amazing. And how would we nominate that person? What's the procedure to nominate? For sure. So this is where I get to say that the buzz for Founders Award starts today with this message. So I would love to encourage folks to think about nominating yourself, think about nominating a colleague or a team, think about nominating a previous nominee who you'd love to see win. The nominations open on January 2nd. However, the month of December is a great time to grab consent from a colleague for mm -hmm. nomination 
or decide to nominate yourself. So you don't have to wait till January. You can even start collecting and collating those two examples that you'd like to provide on the nomination form now. Okay, and what is the deadline? What's the date that we have to have our materials in? Yep, it starts January 2nd and it closes January 14th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. Um, and then Amelia, how is the finalist chosen or how are the finalists chosen for this award? Yeah, that's a great question. The finalist is voted on by the membership. Once the nominations roll in during that first part of January, what we do on the committee is simply ensure that the nominees have met the nomination criteria. And then the board double checks our work and then we send out an electronic ballot from, from NAPO HQ and members are encouraged to read through each candidate's bio and nomination before they select the winner. So this is really important for all of you who are listening who maybe can't think of someone to nominate. You can still participate in the process by lending your voice to which candidate you, for which nominee you feel like deserves this recognition. Um, so please, please, please look for the link to vote and cast your vote for um, our Founders Award finalist. It's just really important to um, recognize our best and brightest and lend your voice to that conversation. So Amelia, um, I feel like there's really interesting, exciting stuff happening on your committee right now. Um, and I'm sure some of that is, is due to your leadership and your um, just, willingness to be inventive and creative. So if someone were interested in participating in the Awards and Recognition Committee, what would their next steps be? Yes, we would love to have a couple more members on Awards and Recognition. The time commitment for our committee is minimal. We meet monthly for about an hour and members have a maximum of about 20 minutes of their time requested in between meetings. We're very efficient and very fun. And it's all about celebrating, recognizing, and um, who's doing good deeds out there. So members are welcome to reach out to me directly via email or you can reply to one of the point posts um, for the monthly chapter and volunteer spotlights. It's an easy way to connect with me. Fantastic. Well, um, I for one feel like I would love to be in the room where some of these conversations are happening. Um, but Amelia, thank you so much for all of your hard work and your dedicated leadership for NAPO in this seat and in all the others that you were telling us you've held. Um, you really are an upcoming star for our association. So I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. Um, and thank you for all of your hard work and best of luck finding us a fantastic Founders Award finalist this year. Yay, remember to nominate, <laughs> remember to vote. Remember to nominate, remember to vote. All right, everyone. Thank you all for your time and attention. Have a great end to your year and we will see you in 2024.